I'm Graham's mom. My name is Elissa. Um, my husband is Derek. Graham is four years old and he has a little brother named Jude who is two years old. Crab A disease is a progressive a neurological condition um, that if left untreated uh, in the early infantile form will uh, lead to the death of a child by age two. I think we went from imagining a future five years down the road to imagining what's five hours from now look like. Within a two or three weeks, they were getting everything lined up with the donor. We were getting everything set up back here. And that's how critical it was, you know, based off of, of what, he, what he has and to ensure that, you know, he could get the transplant and, and, and stabilize things. The actual process, once you find a cord blood uh, match, does start with chemotherapy in order to basically get the patient's body ready to accept uh, new cells that are gonna do what we want them to that their original cells weren't doing, which is providing the enzyme that they are deficient in. You see your child get very sick very quickly. At the end of the chemotherapy stages, you then actually get this person that walks in with this cute little vial of of the magic potion that they hook up to his IV pole. This magic potion is delivered into your child's body and you don't see any changes happening as it's being delivered. But the sense of hope that's coming over your body is amazing. I have on my picture roll an actual um, picture of that little magic potion vial and the person uh, that brought it to us, we called her uh, Graham's angel on earth when she brought that magic vial to us and uh, she still is in our eyes. Once we were through the actual transplant, it just became normal life for us to go to PT once or twice a week, to start going to occupational therapy, to realize there may be you know delays that we would see and things that Graham might not accomplish in life. Thank goodness he was born when he was born Crab A disease was actually approved by the state to add it to newborn uh, screening panel in the state years ago, and it didn't actually go into effect until about six months before Graham was born. The newborn screening was everything for us. I mean, if we didn't have that, we wouldn't be here talking. He may have been one of the first, if not the first, kids that was born in the state of Illinois once the screening was actually added to the panel. It's really hard for me to think about all the families that get this diagnosis too late in other states that aren't given the chance to raise a child as amazing as um, Graham has been for us.